Hello everyone, welcome back to Pably Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to automate leave application forms with JotForm and Gmail. So I work in an HR department where the regular task is to approve or reject multiple email requests for leaves for multiple employees. Therefore, I have automated this entire process with the help of Pably Connect. So basically, I have created a Jot form for leave request. Now, whenever a form is going to be submitted by an employee, automatically the details of that form along with the leave request will be added in my Google Sheets. And as soon as I'm going to receive the details in my Google Sheets, automatically an email will be sent to the employee regarding the approval or rejection of their email request. And for this automation, I have created a simple connection between JotForm, Google Sheets and Gmail in order to automate this entire process that too without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pably Connect. To learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. So I work in an HR department where the regular task is to approve or reject leaves of the employees. Therefore, for this entire process, I have created an automation with the help of Pably Connect by setting up a connection between my Jot form, Google Sheets and Gmail in such a way that I have created a form over here by using Jot form as leave request form. So whenever a person is going to submit this form for leave request, automatically the details of this form will be captured in Google Sheets. And as soon as a new row will be added in this particular spreadsheet along with the details of the leave and the employee, automatically I'm going to receive an email notification informing about the leave request the employee has raised along with all the details such as department of the employee from and to date of leaves and type of leaves along with the reason and after that I will simply update the status over here in the spreadsheet as approved or reject according to my choice and as soon as I will do that automatically an email notification will be sent to the employee informing them about the approval or the rejection of their leave request okay so for creating this entire automation I'm not going to use any kind of coding or programming skills I will simply connect all these applications with the help of Pably Connect so this is the home page of Pably Connect where we can reach by tapping pably.com slash connect this URL in our browser. After coming over here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on this sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user, I am directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pably. To create this automation, we are going to use Pably Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pably Connect. Now here we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create different folders to save our workflows accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. So let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us, which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let me provide a name over here. Automate leave application forms with JotForm and Gmail. So after giving the name, I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save this workflow. So this is my folder automations for HRM. I'm going to select that and now let's click on create. As we've done that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So Pably Connect works on these two principles, trigger and action, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is a response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now let's suppose here I'm going to take jot form as my trigger and Google Sheets as my action and I want that Whenever a new response will be captured from Jot form form submission, automatically the response should be added as a new row in my Google Sheet. So here, our action is clearly following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens, that means when the form is submitted in Jot form, then only the details are added in Google Sheets, otherwise not. So after understanding the concept of trigger in action, let's start creating the workflow step by step. First of all, we have to select our trigger application. So I have created a leave request form for my employees by using Jot form, and now I want that whenever an employee is going to submit this particular form for leave request along with all the details, the response of this form should be captured in Pably Connect. For that, we have to select our trigger application as Jot form. So let's select that. And now we have to select the trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. So new response will be our trigger event because when the new response will be captured, automatically with that response, the workflow is going to trigger. Now, as we have done that, we can find that a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions. So we need to follow these instructions step by step to connect our Jot form with Pably Connect. So first of all, let us copy this webhook URL and then I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. Okay, so I'm going to take you towards my Jot form account. So this is the form I have opened it. Now we have to go towards the settings section. And after coming on settings section, we can find the option of integrations from the left side. So let's select that. 
and after coming on integrations here we have to search for web books when we will select that in this field we have to paste the url which we have copied from the apply connect so let's do that and now let's click on complete integration button as we have done that, we can find that our integration between JotForm and Pabli Connect is successful. So let's go back towards Pabli Connect. And here it is showing waiting for webbook response. This means that now we have to do a test submission by submitting the form which we have connected so that the response could be captured over here in Pabli Connect. And for doing that, I'm going to once again take you towards JotForm. And this time we have to go towards publish section. And this is the link of the form which we can share with the employee. So I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to open it in a new tab. And now I'm going to do a test submission by submitting the details in this particular form so that the response could be captured. And because I'm doing a test submission, therefore I'm going to enter all the dummy details. So let's start with the name. Let's say the name of the employee is dummy. And here the last name is user. So the name is dummy user. And now here I've entered a dummy email address, dummy user at the rate papitudes.com. And now I'm going to enter a random phone number leave request from date so the next it is asking us that from which date the employee is asking for leave so i'm going to select let's say 28th march and now it is asking us leave request to date so till which date the employee want the leave so here i'm going to select the date let's say as 30 so the from date is 28th march 2024 and the to date is 30th march 2024 now we have leave type so here we have to select that whether the employee wants full day leave or half day leave so let's say i'm going to select full day over here and now here the employee has to provide reason for leave so i'm going to give a sample reason over here let's say the reason is family event okay now here the employee has to select the department in which he works so let's say i'm going to select finance over here and now we'll submit the form as we have done that the form is submitted now let's go back towards public connect and we will wait for a few seconds over here and we can find that here we have received the response along with all the details so this is the webbook url through which we have connected this form here's the username of the form along with all the details of the along with all the details of the employee who has submitted this form so this is the email of the employee this is the department reason leave type and all other details so because we have received this response that means our connection between jot form and public connect is successful now my objective is that whenever an employee is going to submit this form i want to add all these details in my google sheets as a new row so i'm going to connect this google sheets with public connect now for that we have to move towards our action step and in our action application we have to select google sheets so let's select google sheets over here now let's select action event so our action event will be add new row so whenever a form will be submitted in jot form by an employee automatically the details of the leave request along with the employee will be added in my google sheets as a new row so let's click on connect and now i'm going to go with existing connection to build a connection with google sheets because i've already built a connection earlier but to create a new connection you have to go with add new connection and then you have to click on this sign in with google okay now i'm going to click on save as we have done that, Google Sheets is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. Now we have to enter the details in these fields so that the response could be captured in Google Sheets as a new row. First of all, we have to select the spreadsheet name. So the name of my spreadsheet is leave request and which is selected correctly over here. And the sheet name along with the name is also selected as we have only created sheet one in our spreadsheet. The other fields are of employee name, email, phone number, leave request from date, leave request to date and etc. So all these fields are the same as the columns which we have in our Google Sheets. Sheets. So one by one we have to enter all the details in these fields to add a row in our Google Sheets. Okay, so let's start with the employee name. As we have already received all the details of the employee in our earlier response, so we will simply map the data over here. So mapping is inserting data from previous step. Here our previous step is given and here are all the details. We want to map the name of the employee. So let's select that. This is the first name. I'm going to select that and now I'm going to use a space and then I'm going to simply select the last name. In this way, I have mapped the name of the employee from my previous response. So as we have mapped this data, it has become dynamic. That means now with each and every new response, it is going to be replaced. Whenever an employee is going to submit the job form along with all the details, automatically the name and other details which we are going to map are going to be replaced with the new details of that new response. But in case, if we will enter the data manually, then the data will become static and then it is not going to change with each and every new response. Then the workflow will get stuck and we will not be able to automate the process. Therefore, to automate the entire process, we have mapped the name over here. Now, in the same manner, we are going to map the email as well. So, I'm going to search for email. This is the email of the employee. We have mapped that. Now, in the same manner, we will map the phone number, request date. So here we have received the request date, leave request day, month, year. So day, month and year are given in the separate field. So first of all, I'm going to map the request day. We have to enter leave request from date. So this is the from date. We will carefully map that. Now I'm going to use a dash 
then I'm going to map the month and then after using a dash I'm going to map the year in this way we have mapped the date now I'm going to map the leave request to date as well so here this is the leave request to date 33 2024 we will select this I'm going to use a dash this is the month and then after a dash I'm going to map the year okay so we have mapped the date from date and to date of the leave request now the next is type of leave so the type of leave is given over here as full day let's map that now the next is reason for leave what is the reason of the leave family event let's map that also and the department in which the employee works so this is finance okay now the next is status i'm going to keep this field as blank for now and we will simply click on save and send test request button so here we have received the response let's go and check whether the data is automatically added in google sheets or not and yes here we can find that automatically the data is added over here in our google sheets along with all the details of the employee this is name email phone number leave request from date to date okay type of leave reason of leave department and the status is blank okay so let's move further here we will move towards our next action step and now my objective is that as soon as a person is going to submit this form and the response will be added in google sheets as an hr i should receive the email notification of this leave request as well for this i am going to connect gmail with pabli connect to receive the email notification every time a leave request will be arised so let's click on this add action step button and here i'm going to select gmail as our action application okay so let's select that now we have to select the action event so our action event will be sent email and let's click on connect now from the given options i'm going to go with existing connection only as i've already built a connection with my gmail account to create a new connection once again you have to go with add new connection okay now let's click on save as we have done that we can find that gmail is successfully connected with pabli connect so let's move further here we have to enter the recipient email address first of all that on which email address you want to send the email i want to send this email to myself as an hr so i'm going to enter my own email address over here hr at the rate sparkle events.com so sparkle events is the name of my company now i'm going to move further and here we have to enter the sender name so what should be the name of the sender who is sending this email okay so i'm going to enter let's say the name of my company as the sender name and because i've entered the sender name manually by typing that means it is going to be same each time it is not going to replace now okay now the next is email subject so i'm going to enter the email subject as leave request now the next is email content type here we have to select plain and now we have to enter the email content that means the body of the email which we want to receive when the leave request will be arised okay so here i'm going to enter hello so this is the email which I want to receive. Hello HR, this is to inform you that now here I'm going to simply map the name of the employee which we have already received from our earlier response. So the email is, this is to inform that dummy user has requested leave from date. So I will map the from date over here. And now here in to date, I'm going to map the to date. Now the next is type of leave. So it will be full day, reason for leave, Okay, so let's map the reason for leave as well and at last the department of the employee. So this is the department finance. We have mapped all the details and this is the email which I want to receive each time. So we have done that. Now let's click on save and send test request button. And yes, here we can find that we have received the email. Hello HR, this is to inform that dummy user has requested leave. These are all the details. Check this out and update the spreadsheet for approval or rejection of this leave. So now this means that our workflow up till now is perfectly successful. So let's summarize what we have done up till here. So we have simply taken three steps, trigger and two action. In trigger, we have taken jot form and in action, we have taken Google Sheets and Gmail. And we have connected all of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that now whenever a form is going to be submitted for leave request by an employee, automatically the details of that form will be captured in Google Sheets as a new row. And as soon as a new row will be added in Google Sheets, automatically the HR is going to receive the email for the leave request along with all the details. Now, now after this we are going to create another workflow for that let's move towards our dashboard and now i'm going to click on this create workflow option once again and this time i'm going to give the name of this workflow as send approval or disapproval emails to employees for leave request so i've given this name now we have already selected the folder in which we want to save this workflow so let's click on create 
and once again we can find that two windows are open in this workflow as well trigger and action so in trigger this time we are going to take google sheets so i'm going to take you back towards my google sheets and we are going to understand the spreadsheet this time so we have captured all the details in our google sheets related to the leave request raised by the employee now after receiving the email of the leave request i want that when i'm going to select the status of this particular spreadsheet as approved or disapproved then accordingly the email should be sent to the employee informing them about the approval or rejection of their leave so for the status i am going to apply drop down feature over here so i have applied drop down over here it contains two options approved or rejected when i am going to select approved as the status then the leave should be approved and the email should be sent to the employee regarding the approval of their leaves but in case i am going to select rejected over here then automatically email should be sent to the employee regarding the rejection of the leave okay so now for this we have to once again connect this google sheets with pabli connect for another workflow so for that let's select google sheets over here as our trigger application in this second part of the workflow let's select google sheets over here and now we will select the trigger event trigger event is the event as i told you on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start so new or updated spreadsheet row will be our trigger event over here and now as we have done that a webhook url is provided to us along with some instructions so let us simply copy this webhook url and then i'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do so let's go back towards spreadsheet here we have to go towards extensions option and we have to go towards add-ons when we will click on this get add-ons it will take us towards google workspace marketplace now here we have to search for pabli connect webhook so let's select that and now basically pabli connect webhook is the add on which we need to install in google sheets to connect it with pabli connect as you can find i've already installed this add on so i'm just going to cross this and once you will install the add on for the first time you also have to refresh your spreadsheet so that you will be able to find the option of pabli connect webhooks under extensions as i can find the option let's go towards initial setup and now we have to perform an initial setup in which we have to enter two details to connect this spreadsheet with pabli connect so the first detail is webhook url so in this field we need to paste the url which we have copied from pabli connect and the next is trigger column so the concept of trigger column says that whenever the data is going to be added in the spreadsheet up till this particular column the entire row will be automatically sent towards pabli connect so it is given the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row will be sent to the webhook url so with the help of webhook url we are connecting this google sheet pabli connect so as soon as we are going to enter the data up till our trigger column the entire row will be sent towards pabli connect with the help of this webhook url so in the background you can find that i have the columns in my spreadsheet up till i so i will be my trigger column because i want that as soon as a new row will be added in my google sheets and as soon as i'm going to select the status of that row as approved or rejected then the response of the entire row should be captured in pabli connect and after that we want to trigger the workflow okay so once again i'm going to go back towards extensions pabli connect webhooks and i have pasted the webhook url now my trigger column is i so i'm going to select i over here now let's click on send test button to send the test response of this employee towards pabli connect and the test data is sent successfully so let's just submit the initial setup and we will close this as our setup is configured successfully now let's go back towards pabli connect and here we can find that as soon as we have done the initial setup here we have received the response in the response we have received all the details type of leave trigger column status of leave that is approved spreadsheet name spreadsheet id sheet name sheet id and all other details now because we have received this response that means our connection between google sheets and pabli connect is successful so let's move further here we have two conditions after this step either we are going to get the status as approved or rejected so i want that if the status of the leave request will be approved then the approval email should be sent to the employee but in case if the status will be rejected then the rejection email should be sent to the employee regarding their leave request for these two conditions we have to apply router over here in the action step so router is very last step of every workflow we have to apply router at last and if we want to perform any other actions after this router then we have to perform them inside router only so router allows us to set two different conditions two different routes in our workflow so let's select router as our action application and now we have to select action event as conditionally run let's click on connect and it has provided us with two routes okay so these two routes are for approval or rejection okay so first route will be for approval of the request and the second one will be for the rejection so first of all i'm going to click on this set filter and action steps in root 1 and i'm going to rename the route as approved okay now let's click on update and i'm going to click on set filter and action steps over here and it has provided us with a filter condition so we have to set a condition that that on fulfilling of what condition the workflow should follow this route so i want if the status of the leave request will be approved then the workflow should be continued with this route so i'm going to select status and when it will be equal to approved 
then the workflow will continue with this route otherwise not so let's click on save and send test request button to check the condition if it is true or not and yes the condition is true because here we can find that status is equal to approved but in case if the status will not be equal to approved then the workflow will stop over here okay so now let's click on this add action step button and in case if the status will be approved then an email should be sent to the employer regarding the approval of their leave request so for that we have to select gmail once again in our action application so let's select that and now we have to select the action event that will be send email here i'm going to select connect and now i will go with existing connection only as i've already built a connection with my gmail account let's click on save and with this we can find that gmail is once again connected with pabli connect so let's move further here we have to enter recipient email address we will simply map the email address of the person that means the employee this is the email address of the employee now we have to enter the sender name so with what name you want to send this email so i'm going to send the email as sparkle events the name of my company and here we have to enter the email subject so what should be the subject of your email we are sending this email to the employee for the approval of their leave request therefore i'm going to enter the subject over here as so the email subject is approval of your leave request now i'm going to move forward and here we have to select email content type that will be plain now the next field is of email content that means we have to enter the message the email body which we want to send so i'm going to enter dear now i will simply map the name of the employee dummy user dear dummy user and now i'm going to enter the content so this is the email dear dummy user i hope this email finds you well i am writing to inform you that your leave request has been approved we have reviewed your request and are pleased to grant you the time off as per your request from and now i'm going to map the from date over here to and now i will simply map the to date as well okay so this is the leave tenure we understand the importance of your work life balance and appreciate your proactive approach in submitting your leave request in advance okay so this is the full email here is the salutation as well thanks and regards smart user human resource manager sparkle events now i'm going to click on save and send test request button after entering the email and here we can find that we have received the response and in the response we can see that the email is sent so let's go and check whether the email is received to the employee or not and yes here we have received the email approval of your leave request let us open it this is for the me user i hope this email finds you well i am writing to inform you that your leave request has been approved okay so these are all the details in the email this means our workflow is perfectly successful up till now so let's go back towards public connect and here i'm going to cross this route and now we have to move towards our next route that will be for rejection of the leave request now we do not have to perform all the steps once again we will simply delete this route from here and now what i'm going to do i'm going to clone this route which we have recently prepared so we have to click on this three dots we will click on clone and yes we are going to clone this route so the route is cloned now i'm going to simply rename this route and i'm going to give the name as reject rejected so i've given the name of this route as rejected because it is for rejection of the leave request now we are going to click on set filter and action steps and here all the steps which we have performed are given so we just have to make some small changes in this particular route first of all we have to change the condition because this time we want that if the status will be equal to rejected then the workflow should follow this route otherwise not so we have selected the status the filter type will be equal to but here i'm going to select the value as reject so when the status will not be equal to rejected then the so when the status will be equal to rejected then only the route is going to be followed otherwise not okay so here we have selected the condition let's click on save and send test request button to check whether it is true or not and currently we can see that the condition is false why because we have mapped the earlier response only and in this response the status is equal to approved and not equal to rejected but when the workflow is going to run in real time and if the status will be equal to reject then automatically the condition will become true now in this case when the status will be rejected we want to send rejection email to the employee for that let's select our gmail once again but here i am going to change the email subject as well as the content of the email so here i am going to give the subject as and here after giving the email subject i am going to change the email body as well so i have changed the email content and this is for the rejection of the leave request okay now i'm going to click on save and send test request button once again and we can find that we have received the response in the response it is given that the email is sent so let's go and check whether the email is received or not 
and yes here we can find that once again we have received another email for rejection of your leave request this is the whole email this means that our workflow is perfectly completed and successful now what we are going to do we will test this workflow once again we will simply submit another jot form and as soon as we will do that automatically the details of that form will be added in google sheets and as soon as the detail will be added in google sheets automatically according to the status which we are going to select the email will be sent but before that we have to do one more thing we have to go towards extensions public connect web books and we have to click on this send on event button in the spreadsheet as we have done that we have made sure that as soon as now a row is going to be added in this particular spreadsheet up till our trigger column that is up till status automatically the response will be keep on sending towards public connect without any manual efforts okay now we are going to test the workflow once again so once again i have opened the jot form now i'm going to go towards publish section and i'm going to copy the link once again of the form and i will open it in a new tab and now and now as the form is open in front of us i'm going to make a submission over here another test submission along with all the new details of leave request okay let's start with the name let's say the name of the employee this time will be demo employee this is the name demo employee here i'm going to enter the email address demo employee at the rate fabricutes.com here i'm going to enter the phone number a random phone number okay here i'm going to enter the leave request from date so let's say this employee wants the leave from 1st of april to and now i'm going to select the two date that means till when the employee wants the leave so let's say i'm going to enter four over here so this is the start date of the leave 1st april 2024 and this is the end date 4th april 2024 now i'm going to select the leave type let's say full day here i'm going to enter the reason need the leave for treatment of my leg injury i have entered this reason just a random reason and now i'm going to select the department of this employee let's say this employee works in the operations department okay now i'm going to submit the form and as soon as we have submitted the form let's go and check whether automatically the details of this form are added in our google sheets or not and yes here we can find that automatically without any manual efforts the details are added over here this is the name of the employee demo employee this is the email phone number leave dates okay type of leaves reason the reason for leave is also given over here and this is the department now let's go and check whether we have received the email for this particular request or not and yes here we can find that we have received the email as well this is the email for leave request and here is the same email hello hr this is to inform that demo employee has requested leave from date to date this is a type of leave reason of leave is also given over here now we will go back towards the spreadsheet and here i'm going to select the status let's say i'm going to select rejected over here and as soon as we have selected rejected as the status let's go and check whether we and as soon as we have selected the status let's go and check whether rejection email for the leave request is received to the employee or not and yes here we can find that quickly the rejection email is also received over here rejection of your leave request this is for demo employee here we can find that the from and to date of the leave is also given over here and this is the email for the rejection but in the customized format okay so this means that our workflow is perfectly successful let's summarize what we have done here in the workflow so we have created two workflows over here first workflow is for getting the leave request from the employee and the second workflow is for sending approval or rejection email to the employees for their leave request okay so so in this way you can very easily create this workflow for automation of leave management inside your organization okay with this very easily you can manage the leave request you can send approval or rejection emails to your employees automatically according to their profile their department their leave dates and all their details in the customized format okay so this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of pabli connect now if you have any doubt you can reach out to us at support@pabli.com if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue you can reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations